because I know my Aussie friends love barbecue, I will show you how to twist it and make it Mexican. Let's barbie! Is fantastic. <laughs> this guy. Well, let's do a Mexican barbecue, but first, let's go to the market. Today I decided to go to South Melbourne Market. We need onion, coriander, jalapeno chilies, tomatoes. We will use them for a salsa, so we need them ripe, not like this one. The avocados for a beautiful guacamole. In here you can find La Tortilleria products in two places, South Melbourne Market Organics and the Grocer Shop. Totopos with blue and white corn tortilla chips. They even have one kilo tortilla pack for the whole family. We can't forget the protein with a beautiful scotch fillet and the Mexican Oaxaca cheese. Barbecue in Mexico is about family, and everyone is involved in this ritual, even the kids. We start with the guacamole. We need to cut half onion and three tomatoes in a small dice. Then chop two chilies, a quarter of a bunch of coriander, smash two avocados and add all the ingredients. Lime juice and salt, mix it and it's done. Then it's very important the salsa. For this beautiful salsa, we need to roast on the grill four tomatoes, four jalapeno chilies, two garlic cloves, and half onion. Very well roasted, we need that burnt flavor. Because I don't have molcajete, to make the salsa, we need to use this thing. Uh, the, what's the name, Danae? Mortar and pestle. Morita and pestle? Mo, mor, morte, mo, morte and pestle. Morte and pestle. Morte and pestle is. Mortero, I don't know in Spanish, I, I know in Spanish, but in English, I, I don't know, it's, it's, it's hard to tell, you know? But it's beautiful, it's beautiful and it's useful. Mortero, mortero, mortero. We need to start smashing all the items in this thing that I call it molcajete because I don't know how to pronounce correctly. If you don't like spicy, you can just add two chilies to the recipe. After all is smashed, put the onion sliced. Lime juice and salt. I like to add some avocado cubes, it make it perfect. And it's done. And this is how it looks. Well, now that we have the salsa and we have guacamole, let's make the quesadillas. For the quesadillas, we just need to add our favorite tortillas on the grill, put the cheese on top, fold them, and they are ready to be eaten. So what is missing? The meat. I don't like to add magic powders to the meat, I go pretty simple, just add some lime and sea salt and you will love it, I promise you. And a very good tip, take the flavor from the meat when you reheat the tortillas, they will be addictive. And here is our Mexican barbecue table ready for the family. Guacamole, totopos, corn chips, carne asada, salsa molcajeteada, quesadillas and your tortillas on the side. You can create your own taco with the mix that you prefer, with guacamole on top, the salsa on top, whatever you want. And just enjoy this beautiful meal as I did it. Follow me for more tips and recipes.